For more on China's population issues, I spoke with Mei Fong. She is a journalist and author of One Child. And I asked her if increasing family size in China would make a change. China desperately needs to increase this number of working adults. So by mid-2020, 20, uh, for example, China will be adding about 10 million um, pensioners every year, but losing about 7 million working adults. So that's obviously not a great uh, solution going long term going ahead. There will be all sorts of issues in terms of elder care, public health care, pension shortfalls. So they need more people to sort of on the on the working side of things to balance out that huge aging population, what, which is why they're relaxing the policy. The big question is, is this going to be enough? And I think a lot of experts are saying no, because the trend for small families now is very entrenched and is very unlikely to, we're going to see those kind of three, four, five child households that we used to see maybe a couple of generations ago. Right. That is a huge change to convince people to add more children uh, when you look at the price of raising a child is very expensive. Exactly. What are some of the other things that can be done then if it's not really just about increasing the size of your family and having more children? What are some of the other solutions that can be considered? Well, obviously one solution is to increase the social uh, uh, network, the social um, network. So for example, China has expanded its health care program hugely, the Yibao, they called it. And so they, um, you know, they've gone, made a huge strides in terms of how much coverage it has. The only problem is a lot of people say it's still not enough. The other issue, which is quite likely to happen, is that they will have to raise the retirement age. Um, China has one of the earliest retirement ages in the world. I think um, in some cases you can retire as early as 50 years. And that's just simply not possible comparative to everyone else, compared to the kind of public financing you need and pensions. So, but that's a very unpopular decision, obviously. And, but that's one they're probably going to have to take. What are some of the other challenges? Because you mentioned elder care. Is it mm -hmm. just economics? Or what are some of the things uh, that are real concerns? Well, um, public health. For example, China already has more than the world's largest per uh, percentage of Parkinson's sufferers, I mean, more than 25%. By the mid-2050s, that's going to jump to well over 60% of all the entire world's Parkinson's sufferers. So you can imagine, both on a personal and public level, the enormous strains that such a thing would put on everyone, you know, on people. Who, imagine if you're the only child and your this your parents have Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or everything. You know, aside from the financial cost of it, it's also emotional, right? And and all the other things. Um, and other disease, diseases are similar. So you have dementia and all these other things. So these all have a potential to become a huge public health um, issue. Why are Chinese people living longer? Over the decades, we've seen the age rise. Um, are they eating healthier? Is it exercise? Is it better health care? What are, what are some of the reasons behind this large aging population? Well, one reason is, like every other developed country, we are all living longer. Um, so better health care, um, extensions in nutrition, all these things. So before the World War II, um, average age of, per Chinese would be under 50. Now, of course, it's almost doubled. So you know, you can, average Chinese can afford to live to mid-70s now. So that's a huge improvement. You know, the problem, of course, is it's a modern problem is that we are also not only living longer, we have fewer children. So that problem becomes harder in terms of a support structure. And that's common to not just China, but almost everywhere in Europe and to some extent in America and places like that. But what makes China very unusual um, among all this is one, the size of its um, aging population is, is the biggest. It is the biggest population in the world. And also the size of a support population, it's shrinking rapidly because of the one-child policy. So it has both ends much harder than anyone else will ever have. All right, Mei Fong, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure.